So you're an aspiring engineer and you're looking for some great free CAD software. Well, it's not quite free, but Autodesk does give you a great free trial. So let's look at uh, Fusion 360. But first of all, you want to get yourself a great free trial. Have a look here. On this tab, free trial, we can see that uh, they're offering uh, some really great deals. For 30 days, you can get uh, a download right there. If you're a student, then uh, you can get Fusion 360 for three years. That's three years. Uh, but if you're a small business, that is a, a hobbyist or a startup, they call it a startup, that's anybody who's uh, got a business that is turning over less than $100,000 per annum, uh, just click on this little I icon here. Uh, there's a bit about the terms of service. Check that out. Uh, if you qualify, download the free trial and review the step-by-step -step guide to register your startup or apply for a non-commercial use. Okay, so if you're a startup, that means you're a small business, but you're not making $100,000 per year, this is for you. Just click on that. And here we've got a, uh, a little step through that will take you all the way through step by step to getting Fusion 360, the, the whole shebang, and uh, you'll be able to get yourself an account and uh, go ahead and use this fabulous software uh, and it'll cost you nothing. Alrighty, so let's, uh, let's do the download and set up. Actually, I've already got it downloaded, but there's a really good video uh, which I'm linking below. It's a good video by DiskSite. It shows you how to download it step by step. It's about a year old, but it's, I think it's pretty good. And uh, then we're going to change the units. So uh, in document settings here, turn down that little, uh, uh, little triangle and you'll see that it's got the units and this little change active units. That'll bring up this little dialog box here. Uh, I live in Australia and so we've got the, uh, the sensible one here, millimetres, but you can set it to whatever you like, whichever is appropriate for where you live. You can set that as a default, click OK. I've already done it, so I'm just going to cancel out of that. Now, uh, let's have a look here. What else have we got? OK, to get going, uh, you want to just learn how to make a mess and then clean up after yourself. So let's, uh, let's create something. First of all, we need to make a sketch and there's the sketch button there choose a plane to draw on, use the sketch tools and I'm not going to make this any particular size because all I want to do is show you how to make something and then uh, get rid of it straight away. So uh, here we go. So there's a sketch. I've just used the rectangle tool and sort of clicked anywhere. Then I'm going to use the create uh, menu here and there's an extrude button. Look at that. And we just need to uh, click here, grab that little uh, arrow and click OK, there's something, there's your first piece, there's your first item that you've done in Fusion 360, hit the escape key and then uh, select that thing by dragging the crossing over it, hit the delete key and you've cleaned, you've cleaned up after yourself. So you can't really break it, there's nothing much you can really do wrong, but uh, there you go, get started. So if you subscribe to this channel, uh, I'm going to show you in the next few weeks enough to get you going so that you'll have enough confidence to model just about any basic, simple engineering component. We're going to go through a number of these. There are actually 16 of them. They go from the simple to the more complex. You're going to learn the basic tools. You'll learn a bit about how to get control of that sketcher. It's a tricky beast. But uh, I'll show you just the basics and you'll get to the place where you can keep it under control. Are you up for it? So just go ahead and subscribe. Uh, let's just do this together. Okay, see you then.